Mic check, mic check. What's going on, world? This is Jason Martinez coming to you live from TSM episode two. Plus, gay shouts, welcome Josh Watkins to the team. Sebel Walker leaves Lakai. Heard he's going to go to three stripes. Eric Ellington leaves Supra. Maybe he'll join his people over at Stray. Nike SB welcomes Dan Van Der Lin. Dan, I think that's right. I might have screwed up his name, but I'm sorry. I'm not very good. Reading is kind of poor. Habitat welcomes Floor Martin to the team. Lakai welcomes Griffin Grass to the team. All I need is dropping some new decks from um, Peter, James, Glenn, and April. Grab one at your local skate shop. Steve, Strive Skateboard Crew, Neil Rodriguez, Brandon Lee, and Ben Rothenheimer went out to a road trip to Salt Lake City. Let's check out the edit. Send out the limited culture crew down to the Surf Expo to check out the All I Need Mini Ramp Jam. Let's watch what they came back with. Check it out. What's going on? Uh, we're trying to get into the Surf Expo, as you can see. Big words. Uh, and it's not working out right now. Brazilian filmer Anderson Cardia. I might be saying it wrong, but hey, I'm learning. Covered the Oi Park Jam at Eden Skate Park. Let's watch this clip and check it out. Shout out to Carl Watson and Nick Lockman for starting the new uh, brand called Maxwell Skateboards. Also want to give a shout out to Andy Necken for starting his new bearing company called Cartina Bearings. Go check it out. Go follow him on Instagram. Buy some stuff. Support those dudes. They're good brothers. Congratulations to Lacey Baker on her first colorway from Nike SB with a Bruin High. And congratulations to her again for her first Spitfire wheel. They just had a party for her at Pond, Pond Shop Skate Shop. Congratulations to Tom Sharp for turning pro. Give props to uh, Robert O'Neill for getting on Primitive officially. He just dropped the video part. Go check that shit out. On March 24th, 25th, Countdown presents the 17th annual Phoenix Sam. If you guys never been, go check it out. Let's watch this commercial from Phoenix Sam. Nothing coming big. Nothing coming big. Yo, make sure you watch all the full-length videos on E3C TV. Let's welcome to the Ray Brothers to the show. Yeah. We got uh, Jonas and Jeremy Ray on the show right now. Let's talk about some uh, skateboard business. All right, let's get to it. Yeah, buddy. Let's talk about this. Four one one issue number one. 1993. Let's yeah. talk about this right here, buddy. Let's take a look at this thing. I haven't seen this in a while. So yeah, that one uh, was at UCI. That uh, little handrail right here that everyone used to skate. Mm -hmm. And then uh, realized that there's a wall next to it that's really tall, but you might be able to get on it if you jump really high. So ended up figuring out I could get on that thing and got a nose slide first and then went back for the 180 nose grind. And then uh, we got it once. 
and then went back to get the photo for the cover with Chris Ortiz. So I had to do it twice, but the second one was way better, so I was happy I did it again anyway. But yeah, that was the beginning of that. First person to hit these things, and then people started taking it to the other side after that. That's yeah. when everyone started chomping that thing up. What, what board is that? That's a color board. Color board. That's, uh, I think it was one of Kyle Yanagamoto's boards. Yeah, right? shout out Kyle. I think so. That is a dope, dope dude. Yeah, that was a sick board, though. Yeah. But yeah, the original 411, issue number one. Shout out to Mark Ablo and all the color dudes. Yeah. We. And Josh Friedberg yeah. and Ortiz for 411, the video yeah. magazine. v It had never been done before, you know? They brought something new to the industry. That's awesome, man. Yeah, I remember them telling us about that idea of doing that. Saying, like, we're going to do it just like a magazine, but everything's going to be on video. So instead of articles where you're looking at photos, you're going to see the tricks on video. And we'll send it out monthly. So I'm feeling that. Sounds feeling like that, a good idea. That. Advertisements could come in as a little commercial instead of print. So yeah. changed up a lot of things. Yeah. So how you guys both been? Good. Yeah, cruising. Yeah, having a good time. <laughs> Jonas never talks, people. Sorry. <laughs> it's always Jeremy. But uh, Jonas needs to get on the mic and so talk a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what else is going on with you guys? Just making our skateboards, mm -hmm. designing new stuff and having fun with it. Like uh, I got to design all of our new graphics and do the logos for our Ray Bros brand and uh, just start from scratch and do it the way we want to do it. So pretty happy with the way the boards are coming out and uh, they skate really good. So that's a plus. Yeah, I wrote a patch on either board. I liked it. Yeah. Really good solid. wood. Yep. So, yeah, the best of the best right there. It's been fun. So what made you guys uh, start uh, Ray Bros up? We had an opportunity to do it ourselves and uh, do it the way we wanted to do it and, you know, be on the same team, which was always rare that we got to, we always got split up on different teams and stuff. So this was a chance to do it our way and do it together, get uh, Chinita and Luna involved and uh, have our own little team. Yeah, front side and back side. Yeah, exactly. Jonah got the nolly, nolly fronts of hills. You got everything backside. Yeah. So that's always good. Yeah, we split up the tricks evenly, frontside and backside. <laughs> La Habra OGs. <laughs> we arm wrestled for every trick. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. I want a funny. few. <laughs> so let's start. Let's go to Jonas real quick. What's up? After Black Label, what happened? Shoot, that was a while ago. Um, my skateboard career has just been having fun skateboarding. So it's. Uh, it's companies come and go i mean I, i'll back any company that backs me you know so it's a it's a roller coaster there's things that go on and um john lucero one day i broke seven boards in a row on one, one day. day yeah we were wow, out filming for a black label video and went to his uh wood his whole shop was in his garage at that time he used to have a place off gothard and he moved into his garage just to save up some money and you know build the brand a little bit more he asked me he's like he's like really I, I went back to his house three times in one day because we were filming around Huntington Beach and kept breaking boards I was just landing you know right in the wrong spot boards birds, boards were great I just uh I land real heavy might have eaten a burrito that day or something but <laughs> I was drinking a couple beers yeah maybe and then uh <laughs> So I went back to his house for like the third time and he gave me a $20 bill. He's like, rip that up. I'm like, no way. Went right in my pocket, you know? Like, that thing's for me. He's like, that's what it feels like every time you break a board. 20 so, bucks going down the drain, Yeah, huh? it's like just ripping up 20 bucks. So it, uh, it was tough times and uh, he was, you know, real supportive and great, great dude. Always making things happen, road trips, everything, but it was real tight so it was uh i just felt i felt bad that you know breaking breaking boards but there's nothing i could do about it i gotta aim for the trucks you know <laughs> try and land a little different but yeah it was uh all all throughout skateboarding was uh it, it's been a fun ride just companies you know i'll i'll back somebody that backs me you know they they they're great they take you on trips and you get to see a whole bunch of the world and have a good time doing it, so. Yeah, that's awesome. You've had a lot of different companies, media, clean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I can't remember the couple other ones, but yeah. A little bit of platinum. And oh yeah, platinum. platinum. Yeah. I still have some XYZ platinum stickers and I, I yeah. still have your board at the house. I should have brought that one. <laughs> that's me, that's my fault. Sorry guys, I'm a dummy. I meant but, to bring uh, your belt too. But. Oh, 
I Sorry. Have it. One day I got a little, had a little bit of fun at uh, Jonas and Jeremy's house and uh, took my belt off and it's a City Star belt and I lost it. At least he didn't That's take off fault. his pants. But. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, 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 that would have been, been bad. That would have been bad. Uh, I think Jeremy would throw me out the house in his pool and drown me. But hey, you know. Was we it all the fun. board that you had? Was it the Rolling Stones tongue one? Yes, I did that one. Yep. Yep. Yeah, we brought that one back for his as a tribute to that one and threw the American flag in there and made it a skateboard deck too as a tongue. So, yeah, a lot of these are, are throwback ideas to stuff that we've had before. Like my Umbrella Girl was my original, uh, one of my original graphics on Blockhead. And, uh, yeah, I remember Back that. in 93, we did that one. So we brought it back for this series and uh, kind of just throwing stuff back to stuff that we all liked. Yeah, didn't Blockhead reissue that board too, right? Yeah. Uh, um, a couple months ago or something like that? Yeah, after that, longer? they did a, an original reissue with the same shape as the original from 93 and also had like the double truck holes where the truck hole pattern changed from the old truck. Oh, yeah, the, the, truck. Like the ventures. And the, that and board the, came yeah. out right in that stage where they were like actually drilling six holes for each truck just for people that were kind of transitioning between. But uh, So the reissue, they put all six holes in again, which is pretty rad. That's rad. We need Pat Shanita here. Where you at, Pat? Hopefully you make it. Hopefully yeah, you might not. drop in later. Yeah. Pit yeah. Shanita, P-A-T, don't puke. That's what he always says when he has a couple of adult beverages. But yep. we'll see if he comes down. Well, then also for Chinitas, we had to do the, the Chiquita banana board. You know, it just fits too good with his last name. And uh, we switched up the whatever the girl with the fruit on her head is. Yeah, yeah the we, we made board. her a geisha girl for his board. And uh, through Garden Grove. Chopsticks up there. Yeah. So that's a fun one. Shout out to Primitive, but you guys bit the Ray <laughs> Brothers, and they took it from another, but hey. No, it it's, it's it all is. from Javante. Yeah. Yeah, that original Shout Javante out to board, Javante. Yeah, that was a sick board back in the days. Yeah. Loved that thing. Yeah, Good that times. just had the original Chiquita. No, no change. That was just straight up a banana board with that same graphic and everything. That's sick, man. Yeah, I don't know how they came about that or why they wanted to do that, but it was awesome. Who made that graphic? Martin McKee? It was a... Uh, a world of Industries graphic. One of those dudes, right? Yeah, probably McKee. So, Jonas, why don't you ever get on World or any of those camps? I was, back around, then? I was around World for a bit. The whole, you know, the team, and we were all skating together. But uh, I think I had, had boards flowing at that point. It's when you don't have boards flowing, you get a, a little hungry to get something going. So, so if, you, if, you have, if I have skateboards to skateboard on, I'm happy. Yeah, you always be so, skating. I'll be yeah. skating. See well, you around, also, see you around. When I was on Plan B, he was on Platinum. So we did oh, get to travel so, together it was, so, that probably okay. so that was like a good time for him to be on that brand. But uh, both of those folded at the same time when, when Plan B went out of business. Plan yeah. B and Platinum both closed up shop. I got to join along on a few tours, too. Yeah. Like, hey, jump in the van. Let's go. Yeah, 95, so, the World Blind 101 Plan B tour. All of us were in the van together. Mm -hmm. That was a good trip. Yeah, I remember, I remember those days. Yeah, I dug up some old photos from that one and put them up. Yeah, I seen them on Instagram, the deal photos. Oh, that the, was from the drawers trip, too, yeah. That was around that same time. Yeah. yeah. The Keeney photo, that was what that made me. Oh, yeah. It made me from shit us a gambling tear. for quarters. We, he, yeah, they yeah, were yeah. teaching us how to play CeeLo. So we had a stack of quarters, and we were playing Dill's there, Arson. I was at Luna's mom's there. house. Yeah, it was at our mom's house in the Havre. But we were all sitting around the table, and Keenan's got stacks of quarters, of yeah. course, you know, winning yeah. at everything. That made me shed a tear because Kenan was a good dude. Yeah. Kendo. Yep. Rest in peace, brother. And Arson. Yeah. OD dude, he's doing Hall of Fame now. Yep. Respect to that dude, he's doing big things. Yep, and Dill with FA and all they're doing. Donald Dill. Yep. Jason Dill. I love you to death, but you could be a dad. <laughs> Son, but I love you. He's opinionated, which makes him rad. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we grew up together, so, you know. Yeah. When you see those dudes at trade shows, me and Jonas know. We go there and no one shows us love. It's like, oh, all right, cool. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you guys for coming. Yeah. Thanks to Break Brothers. And uh, we good. All right. And we honest. Yeah. All right, we've got Eddie Rap Life coming to uh, join the Ray Brothers because he's going to be the star of that commercial and you guys got to check this out. What's up, Eddie Rap Life? Yeah. How you doing, brother? How you doing? Yeah. Eddie Rap Life in the house. Do it, yeah. do it, do it, get it, get it. I don't know what you're doing, but it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the pinball. That's a new new dance, not the, yep. the whatever this thing is called and other stuff they do, but hey, that's him. Yep. Check this clip out, the commercial, and we out. You're going to love it, I guarantee it. <laughs>
Peace. What's going on, Mr. Marcel Johnson? OG brother from San Diego. How you been, brother? Good, good. How about yourself? Good, I'm good. good. All day. All day. Great, great, great to be here. Yeah, I'm glad you're here. We go way back. Castle days. Probably, yeah, castle days. What, what do you think? think when you first met me? I was like eight years old? Uh, let's say seven. Hey, you couldn't get on the course. <laughs> ah, I wasn't allowed on the course. That's pretty bad. Yeah, That's pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> what, is it, what was it like? Uh, Sony Kyle Lama should say two forty-five minutes, and you're up. Get off the course. Get off the course, Marcel. Five minute runs. Yeah, you're out. If you practice, you get DQ'd. Mom's in the background. She was. She knows that. I DQ'd once. Cost world fifteen bucks. <laughs> <laughs> like you cared. Go back. Let's, let's go back a little bit. Z Boy Days with Miracle Magnum. Miracle Magnum, Mark Johnson, George Watanabe, Butch Turbins. Mark, Mark Johnson, the the white one or that one? Oh yeah, I forgot. They get them confused. Yeah, there's two. There's the one two. from Lakeside, right. local skate shop, not the chocolate. Mark Johnson. Yeah, yeah. Z Boys. Oh, uh, Z Boys, Venice. Venice, Venice Boys. Boys. Kareem Bob. Campbell. Yeah, Kareem. All that. That's. Bronze OG, age. ancient, yeah, ancient stuff. OG stuff. Uh, real good times. So you went from Z Boys to what? To H Street. Tell us a little bit about that. that. It's good, fun. That's like you're a kid, you don't know, you know what I mean? You go into school, like you don't, you don't really think you're gonna become something, but you do. You're nobody, and then you get sponsored. You're somebody. And you're getting all that free stuff. You're nobody. You know what I mean? So you just you just skating. You're a kid. You know what I'm saying? You don't really pay attention to what's going down. You just get a car and roll. You know what I mean? Film. You don't know a check's coming, bro. When the check's come, you know it. <laughs> how 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 did you how did you feel check? I mean, cashing them checks back in the days. Oh, that was good. I was what a freshman. Freshman. Freshman buying uh, personal pizzas for the whole class. <laughs> Personal, remember them personal pieces? <laughs> personal joints. Yeah. That's sick, it was that's good. Sick, it was, that's it was, those were good, 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 good skate times, yo. For real. Like, blessed to be a part of it. Right. You had any crazy uh, T Mag or Ternaski uh, stories? Um, Mike was a great, great dude. May he rest in peace. He was like a real, real good, more like, like a father figure. Yeah, I met him a couple times. Yeah, nah, he, was he was a great person. person. Yeah, he's good, dude. Like, yeah, rest yeah, in peace. Tenesky was fucking, you know what I mean? They say the good ones go, he's one of them. Yeah. Yeah. I just wonder if he was here, where would everything be still? There probably wouldn't be no girl. Yeah. Probably you know, wouldn't be no chocolate. You can't really say, I don't, you know what I mean? But that's, he was a good, good dude. You know what I mean, good dude. Like, good. Yeah, rest in peace, brother. Yeah, fucking Tenesky was. So after that, you went to, uh, what did you do after that? Evil? Me and Pat, yeah, we wrote for Evil. Who's, Who's Pat? Shanita. Oh, what's, what's up, Shanita? Shanita, where you at, buddy? And um, he quit and got on plan B. So, of course, I'm going to follow right behind him, try to fit in somewhere. And that's who, that's how the world thing came about for me, through him and his brother, Bilu Shanita. What's up, Bilu? Then, uh, Sir Jules, whatever you want to talk. Yeah, got me on and. Oh, wait, hold on, one second. What is his name? Sir Jules. Um, <laughs> this one. Dr. Dre. Of, seven uh, different Rock names. Music. It's all when he's on the Jack. So if he's drinking Jack, he's Sir Jules. If he's sober, he's Bilu. <laughs> <laughs> that's the truth, right there. Yeah, that's you the truth. Right there, brother. Yeah. You mean, that's, you mean. <laughs> we love you, but yeah, hey, you change up your truth. names. I ain't lying. I ain't lying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, dude. Then. Where'd I go from there? Your dad's company. Oh, you want to see on the board? Yeah. 
we go. We go. Sign it. Do you know how many boards this fool's dad used to give me of these by the truckload? So I, I, I'm shaking holding this because it, it brings me back so many good memories, though, for real. You, you know, and Ryan Kenrich. Yeah, Ryan Kenrich, may he rest in peace, too. Love That's you, Kenrich. I miss that dude. Yeah, Ryan. Do you have any good stories about Kenrich? Um, uh, yeah. Let me see without getting too, uh... Yeah, you can't get too graphic. Last time I seen him, before he laid down, son, he was out to lunch, and we played skate, and this fool was barefooted, doing switch backside flips barefooted. But that crazy arm steve? Yeah, like his style, just everything, just, just like, you out to lunch, son, you're doing switch backside flips barefooted. Your little toe got skin hanging off of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Real talk. Like, <laughs> I mean, you know, no, you know yeah, no, I mean? He was like, a good dude. He was a good dude, but I just, you know, when you see somebody and you know, like, sort of, kind of, you got that feeling, like, yo, son's on his way out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the feeling I got. Like, and then don't mean to cause somebody's death like that, but yeah, yeah. that's what happened. Like, he just, he yeah. was fucking, you know. Percocets and all that shit. So. Yeah, I seen I seen him. Uh, yeah, may he rest in peace too. For real. I seen him in the Bing before, and then uh, I heard my feelings, and then we talked like a couple uh, no, days like before he, he passed hold away. Sins with me, you know what I mean? Like you really want to play skate, you know what I mean? But jump on a board. I can't do switchbacks. So I push barefoot. Yeah. I pulled the girls that he pulled. Got, you know what I mean? So that's yeah, a lot, yeah, a lot of a lot of cute girls. Oh, hindrances! Come on now. Ken What's this, Kenrich? Tribuco High School? Yeah. <laughs> I don't I, I, we'll, we'll go fast forward that. Tribuco High School was fun. <laughs> yeah. For real. So after that, what did you do after society? What did I do after society? I skated for Sal Rocco, too, believe it or not. Bitch. Bitch skateboard. Excuse my language, but, you know, it hey, was that's called the name bitch. of the company. <laughs> All right. Sal Rocco, what up? Yeah, he was a cool guy, too. He was more. Rocker's like, brother, he was a crazy yeah, one. Yeah, he was not like Steve. He was more like. Wild. Like, all out to lunch, son. Like, out to lunch? Yeah. yeah I want to, you know, know I want to get those fools for a starting girl. That was his whole mm -hmm. thing was. Was like, you and Alfonso, Alfonso, right? Yeah, I mean, that's how I got on through Alfonso. What's up, Al? Yeah, everybody skates. Yep. Send me a box, son. son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, he, hey, Alf is. Another one, he helped me out a lot. Like, he's the one who got me on, and he was running it until it's like when it was me, him, Wee Man, Jay Thorpe. Who else? Jay Thorpe. Uh, Jay, Jay Thorpe, Thorpe. Jay Thorpe. Jay Thorpe. Jay Thorpe. Come on, fool. What, what, you know another Jay Thorpe? Oh, the one that's doing uh, the Jay Baker Thorpe. and Dead Jay Thorpe. Oh, he be having yeah, funny bunny sometimes, but hey, yeah. shout out to Jay Thorpe. Hey, but up, hey, Jay? I remember you from back in the days. <laughs> yeah, and uh. Mike, what's his name? Uh, Mike, uh, ay, 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 brain fart, son. Um, whatever, Mike. <laughs> what's up, Mike? It's all good. So now what you doing? Me, just skating still, taking care of my moms. Or just working here and moms. there, you know, just mom's call, son, you put down everything. Yeah, yeah, I see you flossing that. Uh, I don't know if that's fake or that's real, that hey, Burberry. Wait a minute. What's on your neck, son? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> hey, 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 I know I can't afford it. Wait I know I can't afford it. Okay, then. Hey. I'm, just, I'm just being real with you. you me mean? too. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Come on, son, we live. You can't do me like that. It's not live. It's not live. It's not live. <laughs> I, I won't take Marcel, that. Marcel, me, you go way, way back. back. Yeah, we go way back. Me brothers. I don't know if that's fake, but it's all good. You think so? You Fine. bought that at the Swami. Did I? In San Diego? Um, no. <laughs> I don't, I don't go to Swami that much. I do. I'm Mexican. Okay. Right. Brothers don't go to Swami well, unless it's Crenshaw Swami. From little tent, son. <laughs> <laughs> Crenshaw Swami is about it. Ooh, yeah. Oh, see, now, 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 now you want to go to Swami. Y'all got better shit than we got. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I go to the Spring Valley Swami. The best thing they got there on the real is churros. Baby. Churros, churros hey. <laughs> I'm just you Mexican, the truth. hey. Real. Yeah. That's what's up, though. Everything is good. Yeah. So let's talk about these boards you got right here. These Wu Tang Marcel Menace boards. Yeah, me and my boy Mark came up with the idea. Local skate shop. The other Mark Johnson. The other Mark Johnson. Yes. What's up, too, Mark Johnson, too? What's up, local skate shop? Peace and love. Yeah, you can go there and get them. We came up with the idea like a while ago before he even had the shop. 
like he had a print shop and we used to just sit in his garage and fucking, you know, whatever you do in the garage and come up with ideas and print them on t-shirts. And that was one of the ideas that he came up with, but slid that out of the radar for a minute. Mm -hmm. Made him hold it and then we just dropped it. So it's going pretty good. Be going better now. <laughs> so your body, can, can, can you buy these boards? Yeah, you can get them from the shop. So just local skate shop, or is it local skate shop. Or local is like, skate shop, Lakeside. Lakeside. Who would have thought Lakeside? I don't know what Lakeside is, but yeah, our guy no belong out there. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes! Hey. But I did. I roll out there with him. Then come on now. Then That's where it that. Everything is good, man. Give me a story about Oscar Jordan. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> hey, what can I do? That's my homie. All right. Let's do it. Okay. Let's uh, do it. Let's go there. I was going Murphy Canyon, Sal Barry on the microphone. Murphy Canyon, Castle Days. Saw Barbie on the microphone. Saw Barbie. I think it was OJ's run, and Sal called him Hyper Cockroach. I remember that. I was there. I was there. Sorry, OJ. I love you, but like, you do No, it. that's your name. Son Sal gave it to you. I'm I know. just saying, like, I thought it was hilarious, and I still call him that to this day. But I think he's more excited that Sal gave him the name properly. <laughs> I love you, OJ. No OJ, disrespect. what's up, Juice? Juice Crew, yeah, whatever like you call that. yourself, I love you. And then who else, dude? Come on, that was everybody there. Kareem yeah. Day One, I told Kareem you. Kareem Day One. Shiloh. Shiloh. Jason Dill pushing Mongo. Oh, he called it. He called it. Sorry, Dev. Hey, what up, Donald? Dude? It's all good. What about Anthony Oglesby? Oh, Oglesby was good. Oglesby was cool. Tracker A1 Meats? Yeah, Tracker A1 Meats. Long Beach native? Yep. Oglesby, what's good? Man. OG. All, I miss the castle days. Contest ain't like that no more. I think on this show we should do a castle reunion. With OGs with a mini ramp. And like a little junk jam. With everybody. Let's do it. And think about everybody that came to the castle. Everyone went through that. Well, our, our, you were skating our, against your favorite skater. Yeah. Put it that way. If you were a fan, you got to go, ooh, I beat him, you know what I mean? <laughs> Jason Rogers. Yeah, Rogers, everyone. That's how that's how I remember it. Like traveling, going to NSA finals and your dad and uh, everyone. Yes. OJ on the mic some places. Shout out Pops. Yeah, what's up, Mario? Marcel's giving you props. Thanks for the society boards. Appreciate it. Every last one of them you gave me. For real. For real, for real. What about James Craig and all those dudes that were on Society? 508 crew. Hey. No, they weren't 508. That was full crew. Yeah. 508 was uh, Dayton Montoya. Yeah, Montoya and Rob, and G. Them. Rob G. Yeah. That was 508 crew. We used to, me, Shanita, and Billy, we would go skate with them. Stefan, that one dude. Stefan and Tardo. Yeah. yeah I still see that dude. He's, uh, uh, you still see them? Yeah, he's, uh, uh, he makes uh, jeans. He's a fashion designer now. Makes oh, hella good, good nice. jeans. So go check him out. Stefan and Tardo, love you. Yeah, nice. Everything. Those good guys, man. Good yeah. to see them still skating. But Everybody's still skating. Everybody's good nowadays. Yeah. Uh, Stefan, uh, make sure be. you get him a, a good, bear, good, real Burberry uh, oh. scarf. <laughs> Gotta like this. And maybe a real brown hat that has a logo on it. Not hey. from the liquor store. Hey. <laughs> you got it. This is this from a swap meet. You know oh, does he? Hey, he didn't go to the swap meet. He hey. bought that. He bought that from my cousin Chewy. It's all good, you mean? I paid it the with some beans. The glasses maybe from my uncle. I paid the, it with the some glasses maybe from my uncle Julio. You yeah, know, Julio? it depends on what Julio got in his hey, car. Hey, I don't know. Does Julio work at uh, Sunglass Hut? Oh, he probably does. He does? It might be one of them. Hey, well, right, so give me a start because I need some more shades. I'll give it to you right now. I'll give it to you right now, brother. <laughs> So what else you got going on right now? Everything. Just glad to be out, be here. Like I said, I've been taking care of my mom's, so that's my main priority. My shit's on hold for my mom. That's good. And fucking, that's your calling. That's your calling. You answer that call. Yeah, my mom's in the studio over here. Well, you do the same thing I do for my mom. Yeah, but I ain't got no money, so it's all good. It's not about money. It's about mm -hmm. love. Take care of your mom like she took care of you. That's, all, that's what we put her for. That's for sure. Real. What is coming first? I'm a mama's boy. You are? That's what it is. Hey. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I still love my pots, but you mean, I'm a mama's boy. You mean, that's what we do. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. At all. Yeah. I'll, we'll take your sunglasses later and check them. 
you want to check diamond, diamond chest them. Hey, what, check them? Go ahead. Yeah, let me, let me, let me see. Let me see. Let me look through my eyes for a second. Uh, let me see if I'm jig enough. <laughs> Damn, amigos. Whoa. Yo. Oh. <laughs> I did it. See? I did it again. See? Damn. Hey, it might be real. I hope they say for Seichi. For Seichi. For safety. I think he can't read. You said you couldn't read earlier. Yeah, right? I told you. I'm oh, <laughs> I just dropped him. And I broke him. You owe me $350. Uh, I'll, I'll put on my bill. Got you back. Put on that world industry bill. Steve Rocker got you back. Hey, you owe me $350. Steve Rocker got you back. Is there a sunglass hut around here? I need some new glasses. All right. Well, thank you, Marcel. And Johnson for coming on. Talk to you. Let's welcome the Good Skateboard Team. Show. Yeah. Sorry, it takes a little time. It's all good. I'm learning. How's it going, brother? It's good, man. It's good. Yeah. How you doing? I'm good. Hanging in there. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, get through this episode. Yeah, we're getting there. I'm learning. Killing yeah. it. So, uh. Let's talk about uh, the whole, uh, how you, uh, the process of the good skateboard. Yeah, so me and Tosh started good, probably like, it started as a brainchild probably like three years ago. Been in actual production now for two, maybe almost three. Um, just kind of doing our own thing, kind of saw the direction a lot of things were going and couldn't really wrap our heads around it. And just kind of wanted to do our own little thing. And yeah, now we're here. That's sick. Uh, yeah. How do you feel about, um, I know I was gonna piss a little people off, but uh, people buying your graphics. Oh man, it's funny. It's funny that you even brought that up when we were rapping out outside. Uh, it's, it's it's flattering, I guess, because we're the little guy, so you wouldn't think that people would be ripping us off, kind of. But it is pretty funny. But it's all good. It's whatever, you know. I mean, we rip off like we did a whole movie series. It's just it's movies that I was amped on. It's like I didn't come up with Happy Gilmore, but it's just kind of funny, you know, shit like that. But um, it's all it's all whatever. It's, yeah, I liked the whole uh, rip off of movies that you did. Yeah. But now you see like I'm not gonna say no names, other companies that are doing it. So like, it's, it's, I'm sorry, it's kind of whack. It's funny. You, yeah, it's like uh, we I tried to do like an artist rendition so mm -hmm. we wouldn't get jabbed with like copyrights or whatever it would be. But now I see companies just full on just blasting the actual full photo. <laughs> so and yeah. they're way bigger than us, so I guess they're doing it. Man. Small brands always get ripped off. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so uh, let's know who who you got in here. Yeah, I got two kids, my riders, two of them, Brand Strip Matter, Andrew yeah. Sopage. What's up? Introduce yourself. Uh name's Brent. Cruising, glad to be here. Appreciate you guys having us. My name is Andrew Sopich. Good, thanks for having me. I see you. Uh, what's his name? Andy. Andrew. 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 What those? Uh, what those shoes at? Oh, what? this is a new joint, Air One. Something that just started up. I got the opportunity to be a part of. Real stoked. Real supportive. Real built for impact. That's the whole '90s joint, right? Like the jump yeah. down stuff. You check them out. Sure. Excuse me. That's the whole '90s thing, right? Oh, uh, yeah, I think it's reminiscent of, like, the late 90s, early 2000s. Probably a lot of people my age from uh, from that era would probably vibe off of, definitely. The puffy joints. Yeah, the puffy joints. The puffy joints are always good. The yeah, puffy joints are always good. Outside of the pants, for sure. Yeah, tongues out. Always. Tongues out. <laughs> tongues out. Man, I don't know if you guys remember the, the puffy tongues. Two, two tons in, in. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Reinforcing the them. Yeah, yeah, reinforcing yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the old ones. Not yeah, keep them out like Stevie OG Williams. Stuff. Stuff. Big fan. That's kind of reminiscent of that. In a six, way. six. In a way. Anyway, so uh, tell us what you guys got working on, the team the team riders first. I was working on the new video for good. Just mm -hmm. been trying to plug away at that and just get out and set clips for it. So just been grinding away at trying to handle that out. Yeah, I see your uh, Instagram clips are really sick. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Right. Trying, trying to keep what it up with you? it. 
Turn on, tune in, drop out. That's the name of the good skateboards video we got in progress. And then uh, I got some stuff in the work for Air One. And then uh, a wheel company me and Brent both ride for. It's called Powerflex Wheels out of Huntington Beach. Jim Gray. If you're bringing it back. Yeah. Yeah. Jim Gray is the man. Yeah. Yeah. I've yeah. known Jim Gray for a long time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude, man, Jim Gray. I, I actually, um, actually, my dad gave it to him, but uh, he came out with like a tracker with uh, a one wheel bearing thing. So like we gave it to him like maybe like a couple years ago. Wow. So now I was like, damn, why'd you give it to him? Yeah, I want it for myself. Like, but yeah, Jim Gray's a great dude. The wheels are really good. Yeah. So you guys are up oh, back in Powerflex. Oh yeah, back in Powerflex all the way. They're Man. good. They just got these new ones called Candy Cores. A little harder, a little more for the the 270 liker, so to speak. Mm, if you're into, if you're into shredding around, <laughs> yeah. making the wheels bark, I recommend cop yourself a pair. Bark like Spit bars, like OG Spit bars, and like these crazy conjugal fat wheels. I'm not down with that. Yeah, yeah, it depends. I mean, it, everyone's got their thing, you know? Whatever you like, whatever you dig. But I think Powerflex, like, they've got a little bit of each little realm you're looking for. Mm -hmm. A couple different formulas. So they're, they've been around for a long time, but they're back in the mix. So check them out. Yeah, that's sick. That's it. I'm, I'm, sure. I'm back in Jim Gray. What's up, Jim? Yeah, Love you. Jim? Come on yeah. the show soon. Yeah. In the chat. <laughs> yeah. Plug. So let's uh, talk about this little uh, roast beef thing you guys did with uh, Tosh. Oh, yeah. Tosh. They just filmed him around uh, Huntington. Ate at the Sugar Shack. It's like his favorite little spot. Good little local breakfast spot. And just bombed around bands. He couldn't be here today. So filling in. See you soon, Tosh. <laughs> so how was the food over there, Sugar Shack? Super good. Yeah, it's really good. Simple uh, breakfast, nothing too crazy. You don't feel like you need to take a nap after you eat it, so it's always good. Yeah, that's a nap. That's some food, that's a Mexican burrito, Cali yeah, burrito. Yeah. Um, Jack, please. Done. Best right. hot chocolate coffee ever. Oh, there you go. Yeah? That's amazing. I don't, I don't remember that stuff, but uh, <laughs> we'll see that sometime. All right, let's bring out Trish. Because yeah. uh, she... Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna let her see my seat. Come on, Trish. Yeah, what's Fiji? What's Fiji? What's Fiji? Yeah, not good. Not good. How good I fit? I'm small. I'm tiny. We made it. What's up, Trish? How you doing? Good. I'm doing good. How about you? I'm great. Welcome to the show. And um, thank you for having me. I know you're the the host for Roast Beef. Yes. For so, sure. So, uh, how was your experience go? It was a lot of fun. I loved it. I mean, it was great. I got to meet meet Tosh down in for the first time ever. Tight. Yeah, Tosh is a good dude. I heard uh, a special guest showed up. Oh, yeah, his dad. <laughs> it was even nerve-wracking when his dad showed up. Peter? The mate. Yeah. The mate. <laughs> What's that mate? Huh? Not to say, what is that mate? Oh. <laughs> Don't be nervous. I'm nervous, too, just like you. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> so, um, how did you get involved with the whole... Roast beef. Well, Tommy hit me up, and I actually didn't open his message till like two days later, which was, I felt, you know, kind of sus. So I'm like, I'm gonna say. <laughs> well, I was like, I opened it up like two days later, and I was like, damn, like I missed out on a good opportunity. And I was like, well, I hope the uh, the spot's still open, and he, it was, thank God. And when I actually got to do it, I was like, oh my God, I want to do this for a living. It's pretty tight. Having an interview with Pro Skater and having to eat with them is pretty sick. Yeah, maybe some ad adult beverages. Maybe. Maybe a little bit of adult beverages. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe, yeah. yeah skating around <laughs> the park and having fun. Oh, yeah, definitely. I love to skate and I love to eat. So it was like two things that I love to do. So I definitely wanted to do it. Oh, that's sick. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy for you that you're part of the team, the TSM Thank team. Thank and, um, <laughs> Let's keep going, moving forward. And uh, that's it, my voice is cracking. But uh, <laughs> let me drink some water real quick, guys. Hold on. But uh, tell, tell me how you got into skateboarding. Well, I actually started surfing first. And then I quit after I stepped on a stingray. So I quit after that. So when I started uh, skateboarding, it was kind of tough. I mean, like I always got like the feedback of like, you're a girl, you can't skate. And you live in, you grew up in Sauna Beach. You have to see it that you know stick to surfing, and then I was like, no, forget that. Like you know, I got into 
skateboarding and I loved it. And I, the first skate park I ever skated was Como Valley, which is pretty tight. The bowl is really hard to skate, but I still love it. Even though it's pretty difficult, the bowl is huge, really huge. <laughs> and that's crazy. Another thing I heard, I heard you broke uh, both your arms. Yeah, I actually fractured both my wrists. Oh, your wrists, actually, my bad. back in November, no, uh, in August. But I actually healed in November. So I'm back to skating now. At the same time. At the same time. At Washington Street. Oh, yeah, China Washington Street. I filmed for a, a video for one of the skate shops. Bobby's Garage, right here. <laughs> What's up, Jason Connie? Yeah, we right? love you. Jason, A. Hey. <laughs> and um, I was trying to go too hard, I guess. And, you know, I have high expectations of myself. Ended up just fracturing both my wrists, going to the hospital. I didn't heal till like December, and then I was able to skate back in like January. So I'm able to skate now. Thank nice. God. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I'm happy you're healing up good. Thank you. Sorry, my voice is going out again, but it makes more water. <laughs> hey, man. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be a part of the team with you. With TSM, you're doing roast beef. And yeah, you, you know, you did this stuff with the, the good skateboard team. Mm -hmm. So how was the experience with that? Oh, it was awesome. I got to get to know them and the team, too. I didn't know anything about them until I met them. It's pretty awesome. Their pad is super tight. They have all their good skateboarding, good skateboards on their wall, all of them, which is pretty tight. And what, did you just finish your collection? Yeah, we finally. There's a couple. I had to take a couple off the wall every once in a while and sell them. <laughs> like, they'd go online, I'd be like, I don't have this in stock, but it's on the wall. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, I, I've done that plenty. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, you, know, you get a boy, like, you know, I want that and save for the wall, and then, like, oh, I'm going to sell that. I need some money. I need rent money. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I need to eat. Well, I can't save everything. Yeah. Right. But, yeah. We're full. We're, we're complete now. All right, Tom. So, uh, what's next for good? Just pop out this video so I can kind of get my life back. <laughs> no, it's cool. Uh, every, I just, I'm spending so much time behind the camera and it's cool. I'm just turning into like a fat filmer right now. But um, it's cool. I love it. I love being that hands on and I'm just excited to see the finished product and seeing what these dudes are laying down is crazy. Just chopping it up, editing. I'm like, this is going to be really sick. And it's going to be back to like the, just the vibe of like how skate videos used to be where it was just about skateboarding and it wasn't trying to be some crazy artistic expression of it. Just like in ninety seven. Just straight yeah, you turn it on music. and you can watch it from start to yeah. finish and the whole thing's got you excited to yeah. leave the house to go link up with your homies and go yeah. do the damn thing. Yeah. I like that. Keep no trap music. Yeah. Good my like trap music, but I can't stand that stuff. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm not a nice no, yeah, no, it's not. I mean, yeah. Some punk rock or like some OG <laughs> hip hop. Yeah, Other no, than that, yeah, for sure. I, I can't mess with it. All these kids be playing uh, putting uh Clips up on uh, Instagram with trap music. Like, yo, yeah. I can't even watch it. I can't eat. It's like yo. turning their brain to pudding. Man. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's, it, I, I can't. I can't yeah. with it though. Yeah. Mumble shit. Yeah. Yeah, mumble rap. Like I'm mumbling right now. Yeah, mumble, you mumble, put mumble, that out. You put that out. You got your teeth. It's done. Yeah. I mean, that's just slow your feet a bunch and put on Instagram. You guys be mumble rappers. Yeah, there you go. I don't know. Yes, anybody has the beats over here? Yeah. Anybody? Oh, yeah. Where's the beatbox? So yeah, I uh, look forward to seeing what you guys keep doing. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm happy for you guys because I, I follow you guys on Instagram a lot and uh, I always like your stuff, the whole movie thing, and yeah. everything you're doing. And, uh, Appreciate forward. it, man. Thank you so much. Yeah. What are you guys doing? Yeah. Thank you guys for having us. Thank you very much. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks for having us. Yeah. <laughs> Check out this latest episode of Rose Beat with Tosh Townen and the Good Group. Yeah. 
Next up, we got Founder Youth. I mean, the group. Let's welcome uh, Chris and Derek from Program Skating Sound in Fullerton, California. Thank you. How you guys doing? Good. How are you doing? Like the Colonel O'Brien of skateboarding. Oh, you got jokes. I love them. What's it? Come on, that's not a joke. First of all, why are you so high up? Oh, uh, I don't know. That's like you did that purposely because you knew we were coming in. Yeah, I mean, I was trying to, you know, impress you guys. Yeah. In case anybody doesn't know this, Jason used to work. Oh, you, oh, you want to intro us, and then you can we can explain what this is. Yes, I used to work at program with Chris, and uh, yeah, I, I did some dirty work over there. Employee of the month, eighteen months in a row. Yep. Only employee. Clean some toilets. Clean toilets. Yeah. Uh, we had a event. A lot of people um, clogged up the toilet with uh, was it bottle caps, the beer bottle caps. Actually, I think it was someone's dirty underwear. You might be right. You might be right. The and the best part about it was Jason took care of it with his hand. <laughs> he didn't even use a plunger. Like that. I mean, that's, that is real. Hey, hey, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty disgusting, you mean. But it is what it is. He didn't even like ask for a raise or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be a fun one. This is going to be a fun one, yeah. So I want to give a shout out to the Ephraim since he can't be here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, our, our uh, partner, Ephraim. Uh, is uh, out in Europe right now. Schultz. Yeah, Schultz. Schultz, Schultz or Martinez. Thanks for uh, Death by Stereo, and he's out in Europe uh, for another week or so. Yeah, I wish you could have been here. Yeah. What's up, Ephraim? I love you. And we have our uh, we have uh, our new Jason. No, it's hey. a hard good manager. Never clean your booth. I don't think he would ever clean that toilet. No. He would just leave. The rack. He would just walk out. <laughs> but hey, I had to do what I had to do, man. It's all fun and games. So what else is going on with the program? Uh, we're in our seventh year now. Uh, speaking of seventh year, is this seven years that this magazine's been around? Right? I mean, that's, that's huge. I mean, true skateboard, true skateboarding mag to, uh, have, to be around online for that long. And then, why did you just do that? This is, so, this is terrible. This is terrible television right now. Dumb and dumber, bro. Dumb and dumber. Uh, for true skateboarding to be on, and now you have your own TV show. Congrats. 
Seriously, give it up for these guys. Yeah. But um, we, we just celebrated seven years. Now, congratulations, you guys. We, um, since day one, selling skateboards, selling records, um, clothing, shoes, band merch, and then even doing the occasional uh, show in store. So uh, did you guys celebrate with coffee and um, vegan uh, donuts? Yeah, yeah, we did coffee. Oh, that's how donuts. you guys are usually doing it. Yeah, yeah that's like, I mean, you yeah. know. Unless I was there, then we had PBR and uh, right. some burritos yeah. or tacos, but I mean, it is what it is. Right. Yeah. So, uh, hi, hi, how you? I'm talking Arabic right now. Um, how was the move for you? That's uh, weird. Still trying to get used to it. Mm -hmm. Price of everything here is ridiculous. Um, not used to the time change. A little scared to talk right now, huh? Uh, what's that? Are you a little scared to talk? No, not really. It's kind of weird. Did you tell, did you tell people where he's from? Oh, actually, uh, we got Derek from Detroit. He owned a skate shop called Pigeon Skate Shop in Detroit. For nine years. Nine years. And now he's uh, over at uh, Program Skate Shop. Program Skating Sound, I'm sorry. So. Yeah, making a change, figuring it out. He got his, uh, his uh, was it, rape vein or stupid vein? In 78 van, over 3,000 miles in negative 15 degrees. With, with your Harley in the back? With 72 Harley in the back and five T-shirts. Five T-shirts. <laughs> if that's not a reason to get pulled over, like. <laughs> and with the beard. Harley in the back of a... Yep, looking suspicious. We're hella suspicious. Yeah. Nobody comes to the van, though. That's a good thing. Like yeah, but. Bad's gonna happen. Yeah. All right, so what's, what we got going on in that program in, anytime soon? Um, well, usual events here and there, art shows, photo show. Carl, why don't we do a photo show at the, at the shop? Uh, I mean, I've asked you all these times. You always turn me down. Oh. So, do it. so I'm just going to put it right here on the show so you can't, you can't turn me down now. Oh, well, we got called out. Uh, and uh, so and we just launched Program Sounds, which is a record label, um, yeah. in January of this year. First record was uh, Rats in the Wall. And, uh, oh, you guys did a t-shirt, right? And we did a shirt as well for them. I uh, did a seven-inch vinyl uh, cassette and CD uh, available internationally, and then um, did a shirt for it. And then we have a bunch of releases pretty much coming out, like... Uh, Every month or so, Melted is our next one. It's a full-length album. That's, that's like hardcore, hardcore music, right? Uh, <clears throat> Rascal is like a hardcore punk band. Melted is more like a punk in the vein of like the Hives or kind of garage -y punk. That's, that's right, that's right. And we got some other stuff coming out in the near future. Yeah, I know you guys did a thing with Mass Ace. Yeah. Well, we didn't do it. Another board company did it. Oh, we another board company. A, we had the event with, uh, you, you want to say the board company? Yeah, yeah Lil Land Kings, what's uh, up? And so we had, uh, Mass Ace was there, and he did the board signing, and it was great, because, uh, I mean, he's, a, he's an iconic, late 80s, early 90s hip-hop uh, artist, and to uh, have those boards uh, in the shop, and it was huge. And uh, That was your doing, that was your event. That uh, was my event, I, I, I just helped him out. That was, I mean, like, every, every once in a while, Jason would be on the verge of getting fired, and he would put together a good event like that, and then... Everything was cool. Yeah, it would buy them like three more weeks. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, so let's talk about your rap career. Are you going to bring that up? Yeah. You bought the toilet, so let's do it. Nothing to say. I used to rap, and, and now I uh, have skate shops. So. Yeah, that's pretty right now. Hey, he had to make fun of me. I had to make fun of him. But he was pretty good. He had a good little rap career. Looking like someone that's like Cypress Hill style. Yeah. Uh, pretty dope. Now I have kids. And, you know, Damn, yeah, yeah. Congratulations on your second kid. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Sonny and uh, Miles. Miles. Yeah. Damn, two white names. <laughs> yeah, you're Japanese and uh, Polish. Yeah, Japanese Polish. Yeah. Damn, Polacks. Yeah. I love you guys. I'm not disrespecting you. I'm making on air. Can you say that on air? Did you say Polak on air? <laughs> I love you. Hey. Okay. Let's get back to the shop. So what do you guys got? Uh, any new shows coming up? Any new collabs? Uh, yeah. uh, old hardcore band, Downcast, is playing his first show in like 15, maybe plus years. They're playing here. Um, by the time 
Actually, Actually maybe, maybe like, like a couple days after, after this airs, airs on March fourth, uh, they're playing, and uh, got some other good shows. If you go to programhu.com, there'll be a lot of uh, uh, information on upcoming in-store shows, and it's not just bands. We have, uh, like I said, art shows, photo shows, some skate stuff. Uh, we've done some stuff with Jeremy Ray and the, the Ray Bros, and we carry their boards. Shout out Jonas over there. Jonas and Jeremy. Beelers over there, Sir Jules, or whatever you want to call him this yeah, day. Oh, and also, since you're talking about Chinitas here, I saw last week on your show, Dead Poets, yeah. right? So, the last time I saw Bert from Dead Poets, did he go by Bert, or is he like Yeah, Bert. Okay, so last time I saw Bert, he was at our shop freestyling, which I didn't realize he could. And he was freestyling, like, so hard and so angry that he was literally like an almost starting fist fights with every other MC in our, like, we were really like, hey, dude, you gotta stop. Like, oh, yeah, man, I remember Cut that. the music. Yeah. He was good, but, I mean, it was like, okay, I think there's gonna be a fight in the shop right now during it. But, and I, I saw it on the, on the program. Like, yeah. He was great. Yeah, he does, he does, he does his thing. Yeah, no fist fights here. Just uh, no mob deep. No. No. No mob deep, no drinking Hennessy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, anything else going on with you guys? Um, no skate, what's up with the team? No, no video? Well, listen, none. since he's our, our new hard goods manager, he's uh, handling all the skate stuff. This is a skate show, so what do you got? Picking up new brands, trying to change things around. Um, he might pick up what you left off. What new brands are you trying to pick up? Uh, well, we just got welcome. What else? That's not new, but that's cool. Well, new brands. It's new to us. us. Yeah, I know, yeah. Paisley. would be cool, Paisley. Paisley's good. Yeah, working on it. How hard it is. Yeah, it's it's good. Good. Uh, Blood, Blood Wizard. Blood, Blood Wizard. Yeah. There's nothing soon. Uh, you know how it is. Like Hard Luck. I mean, I know it's not a board company, but Hard Luck's been killing, killing it the last uh, the last couple of weeks. Hard Luck, and of course, Loser Machine. Uh, Smart Eight. Seven Eight. Seven Eight. Seven Eight. Seven Eight. Seven Seven Eight. Seven Eight. Seven Eight. Seven Eight. Seven Eight. <laughs> and your neck came from Premier Island, so you're not there anymore. Right. So what's up, buddy? Oh, yeah, so that's it? That's all you guys? No, we got all that other stuff. I mean, Ooh, like tomorrow, we're going to have a. Uh, we're going to get some Mediterranean food for lunch. Oh, um, food. Yeah. No food? Huh? Well, that's that's tonight. You guys eat food all the time. Yeah. But they never invited me. Yeah. Because I was <laughs> did you clean up someone's underwear? Well, if, if you, we go get food at like midnight, and I know where you're at at midnight. And so. I was standing. Yeah, I'm trying not to get thrown out of the restaurant. Oh, okay, because I'm not having an adult beverage. No, no, you're just sleeping here. No, I'm sleeping. Yeah. It depends. Yeah. How about, uh, you have any um, stories about the world that's in, 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 in Oh, yeah, I do, I do. I don't know if you could pick this up. Uh, and if not, maybe you could, like, superimpose this onto here later. Do you guys have that sort of technology? You can superimpose things? Uh, okay, I'm going to send this to you then. Because uh, right there, there's a guy in the audience. He rides for the shop. His name's Alvaro. Uh, we had an alarm installed in the shop, and he was gone in Thailand for about a month. And he came back not realizing we got the alarm installed with the cameras. Oh, come here. Oh, he's right there. Come here. 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 Come So he, uh, <laughs> so the security camera caught him on film coming in with a lady friend. Oh, with, a lady, with a lady friend into the store, and uh, oh, and it was great because the alarm went off, and then the person from the alarm company's talking to him through the the security like thing, and and he's like he's like oh yeah this is Alvaro I work here and she's like oh okay great thank you and then she calls the cops immediately she's they call him. yeah she's stalling him trying to keep his dumbass in the uh, in the uh, store and with his with his lady friend. We, why he's in the store like 11 o'clock at night with a friend is, is I, don't, I didn't really know. Why, hey, why, why was she there? Yeah. What is the answer? Why was she at the store? Was she, what is she, does she like do inventory or something? No, she wanted to use the restroom. Oh, she wanted to use the restroom? Yeah. He technically owns the store. Yeah. I think he may have told her he owned the store. Something like that. And uh, yeah, anyway, so. I called him up and like, you know, you really should get out of the shop right now because the police are on their way. At that point, because the security company already called the cops. So, well, we saved the photo. And we have like a, we actually have a video of it. <laughs> yeah, we had a calendar because I remember going to the oh, yeah. shop the next day and there was a calendar of him. Yeah. Check it. 
Yeah, like we made a full and color calendar for all the bunch of years. It was crazy. And it had his fo his security photo <laughs> on the on the calendar. That was a good time. Good time. That was a good one. I'm glad you called that out. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 it can't always be about you. I, 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 we have to make some fun of something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make fun of something else. So, all right, guys. I'm happy you guys came on. Hey. We had a little bit of shit to talk. Just about me. Alvaro. Didn't even want to bring nobody else. Is there any sponsors you want to shout out? Um, not really right now, right now. Well, I was hoping you would, because then you could have the opportunity for us to walk over your stuff. Oh, you want to do it like that? Well, All right. Did you drink, company, or... Oh, uh, maybe a uh, monster. Oh. We might get you a box. Cool. Or you want to uh, go to Agenda and get some more boxes? Yeah. And have him cry about he doesn't know how to get a jean jacket or something. Yeah. yeah <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> All right, Chris and Derek, I love you, but get the hell out of here. Let's welcome Damien Hertenstein to the set. I just want to give a big shout out to San Diego for having the most realist skate scene out there in the world, for sure. And shout out to all my sponsors. And yeah, love it. I love to be out here, dude. Killing it. <laughs> Welcome to the show, brother. Thank you. How's everything going with you? Good. Could be could be better, but chilling. Well, let's talk about that. How'd you break your foot or your ankle? Just messing around, and that's how, how skateboarding is sometimes. And yeah, when you're messing around and having the most fun, you just like mess up, and you're just comfortable because you're just having fun, and you mess up, and yeah, I just rolled it really bad and broke my ankle. Damn, sorry to hear that. How yeah. long you out for? up to like five to six months so and i gotta get some physical therapy and stuff because like it doesn't even feel the same so we'll see how it goes it's gonna be a long road but i'm, I'm gonna take on the challenge and get it so i could get back to skating seriously like love it like skating's the best <laughs> that's red yeah so uh for the people that are in the world that don't know you you know just give us a rundown on your sponsors your age and stuff like that all right i, I ride for uh Captain Finco and Supra, Gullwing, Granger Skate Shop, uh, OJ Wills, Quantum, and that's pretty much it. Oh, Hard Luck Bearings, too. They kill it, fastest bearings out there. And that's pretty much it, yeah. Shout out to Russ, Russ Pope. Yeah, over there. Russ Pope, Transportation Unit. Yeah, yeah. all Yeah, that's how we're doing it. RE at, at Paradox, yeah, just. All the homies repping, repping me hard, so, and I just want to rep them as hard as I can, too. Like, thanks for backing me straight up. Thanks for Tommy for getting me on the show. Like, yeah, thanks That's for the red. support, straight up. That's red. So, uh, yeah, I saw uh, some stuff on Instagram that you dropped apart and you did, like, this board slide on this, this kinker. Yep. Just tell us about that. I saw that gnarly slam. I'm stoked you brought that up because that was a crazy like experience to skate that because I I don't skate big rails I usually like I've always skated like parks and like just learning and stuff and like I just started like trying to like get out there skate some like big rails and stuff and something different yeah something different exactly so we were just like always going out with my my brotherhood just going out and skating and we went to uh UCR in Riverside and we didn't even get into the school like we just like parked and we walked up to this beautiful like i think it was like 10 flat 10 and it was like the rail's not that like big and like it has dirt on the other side so like all the homies were like we were with uh dalton duran and uh kanan duran killers from florida amazing skate park in their backyard and yeah they just kill it and they were just getting me hyped so i had to like throw down because like dude they throw down like they've been in the game for a while killing it and yeah I just had to throw it down and uh Dalton was just getting me hyped as hell and yeah I just like went for it and yeah you see you seen that slam yeah dude? I saw that yeah Peacock showed it to me Peacock oh. and I was like damn yeah that's what's funny dude. yeah yeah that's what's funny like Peacock is the man because like he came, he came out like when like I don't know if I'm gonna get it because like Dude, it's only my second time after eating it, and yeah, I just like called him up. I'm like, can you meet me here at this time? And he believed me, and I like showed up, 
re, re like how to battle it because like dude when you have a slam off a rail you're like you're battling demons because you're just like oh i don't want to like mess up again and yeah it was just everything went good like all the homies were out there and supporting me and like yeah and i did it like i don't know it took me like over 20 tries but it was all <laughs> cold and like totally different vibe from last time so i was like kind of hesitant but yeah the, the homies came through and supported me and i came through and skipped school and like came through and like capitalized you feel me like i don't want to like miss school and like still not, get, not clip. get it yeah not get the clip exactly so i'm stoked on that yeah yeah, I watched your part on Instagram, and uh, I like the song you picked, that Biggie song. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thanks to my homie Sky. He's the man. Like, he's came through so many times filming me, too, and he's the one who edited all that. Like, he's amazing at editing. Like, Sky, you're the man. Like, keep keep up to it, and, like, you're gonna it's going to take you somewhere far for sure. Like, he's killer, dude. Sky and his brother, River, takes amazing photos, too. And actually, that's the photo. If you ever got to see that photo, that's on the... On the flyer, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, he took that. Like he takes really good pictures, and that's that's the funny thing. Like they don't like <laughs> skate with like homies who skate like big rails. That was like one of his first big handrail photos. So he was just like trying so many different angles, and like he came out with a good angle, and yeah, everything came through with the part except broken ankle. But hey, nah. that's still still a good part. Work for a new project. You it's know? life of skateboarding. You exactly. Know? Yeah. Not everything's gonna help. Yeah. But other things, uh, I was gonna say, uh, what do you prefer uh, to skate? Transition? Because I see you skate street too, or skate parks like I, mini ramps. Like, yeah, like, I like pools. I like to skate at all. Like I can't get bored on like anything really. Like I like to skate parks probably like the most because like it has a little bit of everything. You could like venture off, skate a rail, and then go back into the pool. Mm -hmm. Like. If you ever checked out Valley Center Skate Spa, that place is really, like, that's my hometown, and I skate that part. Like, me and my dad built that, and, yeah, we just, like, we fundraised it, and, like, Kyle Gallagher came and made it all creamy, and, like, that's, like, pretty much, like, a replica of Washington Street, but, like... Yeah, and, Washington Street's gnarly. Right? It's a little less gnarly. That's why people like ours, because it's, like, oh, Washington Street's gnarly, and then you could, like, warm up on Valley Center. It's pretty cool, like... So so does your dad um, build skate parks for a living, or just something he, he just he did? He just pushes me to, like, get a living out of skateboarding. Like, hopefully I could, like, turn skateboarding into, like, a living. You feel mm -hmm. me? Because, like, skating's on the up. It's going to the Olympics. And kid, every kid wants to skate nowadays. Like, every mom's pushing them to skate. Like, I go to Carlsbad, like, Hoots Park, and kids are, like, or, yeah, Encinitas Park, Hoots Park, and, like, Kid, like moms will have all their kids out of school just to skate and i'm like wow that's dedication like that's rad like that makes yeah that's good i mean back in the days there was nothing like nothing that. nothing like that exactly you need those kids and moms pushing want those kids to skate and kill it that's awesome i love so, it since you brought up the olympics how do you feel about it skateboarding in the olympics it's cool for the it, it's really gonna show like who is like the hardcore skater and who's kind of like the jockey skater but how i feel about it it's like a big thing for skating to keep going on and it brings money into skating so we can skate for a living you feel me so like it has an ups and downs i totally agree like to kind of make it jockey i totally understand but hey snowboarding was like that one day like at one time like you feel me like even people tell me that i'm like it's so true because it used to be so g and then goes to the olympics and it's like you feel me? It's kind of the same almost, but I don't know. I, I like the Olympics. I watch it, so if I can make it and be clean and kill yeah. it, hey, I, I'll be down to do it. Let's get it. <laughs> be clean. Yeah, be clean. Yeah, yeah dude, so, so it's, if, they, if, they, if, they offer you, if they offered you to be in the Olympics, you would do it? Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Get that paycheck? Oh, yeah, big paycheck. That's where you make the, the big money. That's, that's where all those little kids want to go for sure. Nothing like, wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. That's what I'm, you want that for sure. Yeah, but yeah, straight up. <laughs> so you have uh, um, anything else going on right now? New video projects? I know you did this one for TSM, and uh, the shit's pretty dope. Dude, so thank you. You have anything else you are working on? Well, recovering. sorry, you broken foot. Yeah, just recovering and 
probably gonna take some pictures of the homies, get get another hobby going or something. I don't know. Like, just so bored, like chilling, watching Netflix and chilling. Like, you feel me? Like, you know the vibe? And I, yeah, <laughs> you just chill. Laughing. Like, I don't know, play games. But hey, it gets old. So like, I go to the skate park, but like that gets old. You want to take pictures, kind of get into it. I have cameras. I just need film. So just need to get into it. Like, a little hobbies, a little hobbies on the side. Oh yeah. Sick man. Yeah. But yeah. Thank you. I I look forward to everything you have coming up, and I'm yeah. hyped that you were here. Thank you for coming. Thank you, thank you. And uh, thank you for having me. We're out. Seriously. All right, guys, let's check out Damien's full clip. I got it right here.
give a shout out to my boy, rest in peace, Richard Garaby. I want to dedicate this show to him. Thank you guys for turning in to TSM Live Show. And we're out. Peace and love and equality. We're out. Too many hours.